Welcome back. At the Jakarta Composite Index Intraday Movement, earlier today, JCI was opened at a level of 6,915.56. And in approaching the closing time of the first session, the index was on the level of 6,889.97. And then the index was showing weakening trend by the second session closing time. Index was closed at the level of 6,892.57. And in short, JCI went down 1.36%. Next. We are going to see the sectoral movement leading the dynamics of today's trading. We got energy went up 0.54%, infrastructure went down 2.83%, basic went down 2.61%, and non-cyclic sector went down 0.58%. Moving on to the top gainers and top losers, here are the key highlights from today's trading session. From top gainers, BMRI went up 0.23%, ADRO went up 0.79%, ITMG went up 0.49% and Arto went up 2.53%. Meantime, the top losers, we got Bank Central Asia, went down 1.14%. Telcom went down 6.25%. BBRI went down 0.61%. And Astra International went down 2.49%. Next, we're going to see the intraday movement of rupiah towards the US dollar. Open at the level of 15,565, rupiah was also showing weakening trend towards the US dollar and was closed at the level of 15,613. And in summary, rupiah went down 1.25%. United Tractors is known to be looking at the new metal mines and renewable assets to reduce its dependence on coal. The United Tractors management also said that the company would not make new investment in fossil fuels. United Tractor is known to be looking at new metals mines and renewable assets to reduce its dependence on coal. According to Bloomberg, President Director of United Tractors, Franz Kasuma, said that the company is actively looking for nickel mines to buy in Indonesia. In addition, the company is also actively looking for gold mines with reserves at least 2 million ounces and copper in Australia and Canada. Furthermore, management said that the company will not make new investments in fossil fuels. However, management refused to say if the company plans to sell its coal assets at this time. Meanwhile, Finance Director of United Tractors Iwan Hadiantoro said, the acquisitions of two metals mines requires an allocation of up to $1 billion. US dollar. The company is even considering issuing green bonds of $250 million US dollar to $500 million US dollar to fund renewable energy projects. For additional information, it is known that the company is planning to build a large-scale solar and water power project after purchasing shares of hydropower infrastructure company Arcora Hydro for 11.2 million US dollar. IDX Channel reports.